Alright, so I just figured out something really cool. And it has nothing to do with that. Me. So, I'm attempting to install Windows 7 on Chu's computer down there, but it doesn't have a CD drive, and so I'm having to install it via USB flash drive right here. See, no CD drive. Well, when I plug in the flash drive and boot into it and click install now, it asks for a retarded driver because, for whatever reason, and it did the same thing when I did a USB CD drive, um, for whatever reason it can't read the driver of the flash drive and it can't find it anywhere. But I found a magical solution for it. When it asks for that, just hit cancel, go back to the screen, and then move your flash drive to a different USB port. It's got to be a completely different header, so I can't just plug it in here. I have to plug it in down here, which you all can't really see very well, but there's a USB port here. Okay? Again, this is still booted in the same boot. Hit install now again. And... This is being recorded on my Surface, by the way, so if the camera angle's a bit awkward or the quality's kind of bad, that's why. And there you go. Now you get to install. Apparently there's some issue with the Windows installer being able to keep detecting the USB drive, so all you have to do is move it from one USB port to the other, and then it installs fine. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Hope this helps some people out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.